All right. Um, good evening, everybody. Uh, I'm glad you could um, be with us again for another installment of Tech Tuesday. Uh, if you haven't met me before, my name is Albert Spiegel. I'm the Assistant Principal for Instructional Technology and the Dean of Underclassmen. And tonight we're going to do a few things. We're going to talk about what we did in the last Tech Tuesday. We'll review those. Um, we are going to talk about power school, we're going to talk about devices, and we're going to talk a little bit about Naviance, which is college and career readiness. Right? So uh, we are recording, as in the last time I will post this uh, up on YouTube, so you'll have a copy of, um, of you know, what we cover. I'm going to put the slides from the last Tech Tuesday in the chat. I'm going to do that right now before I forget. So that's uploading. Um, so if you want to, if you need those, they are there for you. So um, what I'm going to do, um, is I'm going to switch over to my, my slides, which are over there. Um, and let's, um, we're going to recap, uh, this is like, so what we're going to do, we're going to recap um, what we are doing um, uh, tonight, and we'll talk about um, device pickups, power school, and Naviance, right? So um, the first thing I want to do is, like I said, all of these um, these videos are recorded on YouTube. Um, you can find them on our BCTV YouTube page. The address is on the screen. Um, I have a playlist for, as we do more of these, the, the 2023 uh, Tech Tuesdays. You'll see them on uh, the playlist on the, on the YouTube page for BCTV. Um, and like I said, this one will probably be up at some point, probably tomorrow. Um, we'll put the video up um, and then I'll email out the slides. It may not be till later tomorrow or at latest it'll be Thursday. Uh, I want to remind everybody, um, if they have not submitted a picture for ID cards, to please do that as soon as possible. Um, we are trying to get your ID cards ready for the first day of school and we're also trying to um, get those pictures into power school so your teachers know who you are. Um, so they can start calling you by name on the first day of school. So if you have not done that, please do that. Um, take a, a headshot with a red or a white polo on it and send that to help desk at burncatholic.org. Uh, the last time we talked about email addresses, um, I'm not gonna just, I'm not gonna totally review everything, but I just wanna remind you if you have not accessed your Burn Catholic email address, that your email address is your first initial and your full last name plus the last two digits of your graduation year at burncatholichs.org. Okay, so example with my name would be aspeagle27, burncatholichs.org. All right, you sign in just like you would a Gmail account. You go to gmail.com, you'll type in your Bergen email address, um, and then put in your initial password, which is Bergen12. And if you've done this already, you've already been asked to change your password, um, which is which is fine. Uh, and you can change it to whatever you want, because we can we can change that if you if you can't get in. Okay. Uh, you'll be asked to accept the terms of service, and then you will choose your password, okay? Um, and I think I mentioned this before uh, on the last call we were on, to please make sure you add no reply burdencatholichs.org to your contact list. Um, that's generally where a lot of our um, grades and report card information uh, we send from that no reply address, okay? Um, uh, I'm looking at the chat. Eamon, can you take that question and look that up on PowerSchool in the chat, please? Okay, so um, I want to talk about uh, device pickups. So your devices are ready, um, and we're going to start distribution on Monday, July 31st. Okay, uh, You have been billed for those devices, whether you chose option one, two, or three. You've been billed for them um, in tabs. If you have not paid for the device yet, uh, please do so um, in TADS. That's the easiest way to do it. Um, so then when you come to pick it up, there's there's no issue, okay? Um, so you have your, I believe uh, Mrs. C's told me today that the the date is the 30th. July 30th is when the laptop payment must be made. Um, so please go ahead and do that prior to coming and picking up your device. We will uh, be in school every Monday through Thursday from nine to one. You can pick up your devices then. And we'll have three Wednesday evenings, uh, August 2nd, 9th, and 16th from 4 to 8, where you could also come to pick up your, uh, your devices. Uh, students, you need to come with uh, your parents. Um, you need to get your ID card picture taken if you haven't done so already. 
Uh, so it is important that you are present with your parents when you pick up your laptop, right? Uh, and we will be there the whole, pretty much the entire month of August. Um, so plenty of uh, plenty of time to come in. Let's see. All right, so we're going to talk first about uh, PowerSchool tonight. Um, I had sent directions a couple weeks ago when you got your uh, course placements um, and you're able to see them in PowerSchool. Uh, how you access PowerSchool is we have our own unique URL. It's bergencatholic.powerschool.com. And the way you'll log in is with your first initial, your full last name, and your graduation year. So I would be a Spiegel 27 and my initial password would be Bergen, B-E-R-G-E-N, okay? Once I do that, once I as a student log in for the first time, it's going to ask me to change my password, okay? So your current password is Bergen, and then your new password is whatever you want it to be. Now you can set it to whatever you want, okay? As long as it's at least eight characters long, okay? Then once you set that, um, you're in, okay? And let me just flip over computers and I'll show you as a student, what that will look like. So when you log in PowerSchool, you will, you will see this information. You won't have any grades in attendance. There won't be um, uh, emails or anything. You will have uh, school information is stuff that we will be populating throughout the summer. Um, you may not have all of it there yet, which is fine because some we do things in kind of stages. Um, but you'll see your PowerSchool um, parent access ID and password, which was also emailed to you a couple weeks ago. Um, so that's there for you, uh, who your guidance counselor is, which you should know already, your email address. Um, I know somebody had asked and I saw the question got resolved, but um, there are a few cases where some people have the same names. Um, and, um, you know, we, we can see your email address right there if you're, if you're not sure. Uh, the other thing I want to point out to you is class registration. And what this is, is your course requests um, for next year. You should have 12. I believe that, I think I only realized today that I did not put art in for everybody. So I will do that uh, at some point in the near future. Um, but everybody will have <clears throat> an English. You'll have art, uh, a language, either language, um, Spanish, Latin, or Mandarin. Uh, you'll have either algebra uh, or geometry, in rare cases, algebra 2 trig. Um, you'll, everybody gets Catholic Christianity. Uh, everybody has either biology CP or biology honors and the corresponding lab. World history CP or world history honors. And then intro to business, intro to engineering, uh, and phys ed and homeroom. Okay, so everybody will have 12. Um, and, you know, these are your, where you are placed based on um, what information that I got from the admissions department based on your transcripts and your co-op scores or your HSBT scores, excuse me. All right, so you can find that information there. Later on in the summer, towards the end of August, <clears throat> we'll release your actual schedule that'll show your teacher assignments, your room assignments, and the rotation of your schedule. Uh, and we'll take some time during one of those Tech Tuesdays to explain how the schedule works because uh, it can be, it rotates. So you'll never have the same class at the same time back-to-back -back days, All right? Um, so let me go back over to my PowerPoint. Uh, if you are a parent logging into PowerSchool, um, it's the process is a, a, a tad different, um, but once you do it once, you're you're in good shape. Um, you will uh, click on create account the first time that you um, you go to BurdenCatholicPowerSchool.com. You'll click on create account, okay, uh, which is that tab up on the left side. And there you click on the create account button, and then you're going to fill in the fields on the top half under create parent account. So you, fill, you will fill in first name, last name, email, um, your desired username, and then password twice, all right? That's all stuff that you will create, okay? That's the first half of step three. The next part, well, I call it step four, is when you will uh, link to your son, okay? That access ID and password um, that you just saw on PowerSchool that was also emailed to you, um, you will put that in under these two fields for access ID and password, and you'll be able to then link to your son's information, okay? You only have to do this once. So then once you do that, you'll just go on and log in with your, um, uh, with your username and password that you choose, okay? If for some reason you choose a username that someone else has, it'll, it'll prevent you from using that and you'll have to choose something different, okay? 
If you have any trouble doing this, uh, you can certainly reach out to the help desk um, or call Mrs. Robolino uh, Monday through Thursday, uh, 8 to 1 uh, at Bergen, and she'll be able to walk you through that as well. All right? It's not a long, it's not a long process by any means. Um, and some of you have probably already done this. Uh, if you have older uh, boys that have gone to Bergen um, or you did it based on the instructions that you got a couple weeks ago from me. Okay. Um, and this is what I highlighted before. Um, your course information, which I talked about, and school information, I already talked about that before. Um, and I talked about your course requests. I talked about this course information. We saw that already. And I talked about your course requests, um, which we outlined already. Okay. So uh, before I go on to Naviance, is there any questions, if you want to throw them in the chat or you want to unmute and ask me about PowerSchool or, or courses, uh, since I'm the one that builds the schedule, so I can, I can talk from a placement perspective if need be. Anybody have any questions they want to ask? I have a quick question. Sure, go ahead. Um, <clears throat> with the PowerSchool, for the parents, we're going to click create account, but for the students, mm -hmm. do we just use sign in and use the information that was sent to us yes. or do we need to create as well? Okay. Yeah, the, the, the student accounts are already created and that's generally their first initial, their full last name and their graduation year. Um, there's, yep. no, there's no punctuation marks in case there's somebody has an apostrophe or a dash, there are not in there. Um, and then their initial password is Bergen. Um, if for some reason that doesn't work for you, just send an email to the help desk or actually uh, Eamon, who's part of my tech team, is, is floating around uh, on this Zoom and um, he would be uh, more than happy to, uh, to help you if you, um, if you want to send a, um, send a note to him. Um, or if not, just email the help desk and we'll, we'll, we'll help you out. All right. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, can you please put up the device dates again? Well, I sure can. Uh, let me go back to that. Device dates. Um, device dates are pretty much every Monday through Thursday, starting July 31st from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And then August 2nd, 9th, and 16th will be there from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. Okay. And it's important too, I didn't mention, you want to go in through the front semicircle, especially if you're coming from the, for the 4 to 8, because all the rest of the doors will be locked. So come in through the front semicircle, uh, and you'll be directed as to, as to where to go. All right. Um, what is the username for the students depends on their, um, on their name, first initial, last name, and 27 would be for an incoming freshman. Uh, if we have a power school account ready for our previous school, no, you have it, power school from a previous school does not carry over. This is a new account for Bergen. So you'd have to create a new one. Um, dropping off, um, dropping off devices. If you are bringing one or more of your own devices and you need to have it configured, um, you'll want to reach out to Mrs. Robolino. Uh, srobolino at burncatholic.org. I'll put her email address in the chat. Um, and you can, you can really just come in any day, 8 to 1. Um, but if you want to make a specific time, you can reach out with her. Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. All right. Any other questions before I move on to Naviance? Uh, and like I said, you can go back and play this to your heart's content because um, I'll have it up uh, online. I hear somebody. Go ahead. I went and I used the credentials I sent in the email and logged in with my email and my son's information, and then it said that my email existed already. I do have a child who's going to be a senior as well, and I use the same account and like to I barely heard you, but I think you're you already have a son at Bergen, and you are looking to link power school accounts. Drop me an email. Um, I'll put my email address in the chat, um, and I can I can um, take care of that. I'm sorry, I, I can barely hear you. I'm sorry, I sent you an email already, so then I um, I'm sorry, whoever was talking, I, I lost you. So if you um, if you want to just put it in the chat or reach out to me when we're done, that's that's fine. Uh, but I can't, if you're speaking, I can't hear you. All right, um, let's go on to Naviance. Um, uh, student Gmail username again is generally their first initial, full last name, and graduation year. So mine would be um, a spiegel27 at burdencatholichs.org. That's what mine would be. Okay. So let's go over to Naviance. Now, Naviance is, I'm just, um, this is, kind, this is very informational. Um, you are not, I don't even have your parent account set up yet. Um, 
uh, but I do have the student accounts. So it's it's you will learn a lot about Naviance when you um, as, as you start meeting with your guidance counselor and there's specific lessons throughout freshman year. Um, but it's our career and college readiness platform. It is probably the de facto standard for college admissions throughout the country. Um, you'll you'll become very close with Naviance and all it has to offer. Um, I just want you as students to be able to see how you will um, how you will log in. Now, your accounts have already been created uh, based on your Bergen email addresses. So you need to have access to your Bergen email address before you um, um, before you uh, sign in. All right. So you would go to this page, student.naviance.com slash Bergen CHS. Right. And then you'll it's going to ask you your user type. You are going to click that you are a student. Right. And then you'll click continue with single sign-on. Okay. So once you click single sign-on, click with single sign-on, you're then going to be prompted to log into your BC email address. If you haven't, if you're not logged into that already in a, in a browser, um, it's going to prompt you to sign into your Burn Catholic email address. Okay. Once you sign into your Burn Catholic email address, you will get into Naviance. Okay. It's that easy, all right? So I'm going to, first of all, I'm gonna just double check and make sure that, um, I just wanna make sure that I can, uh, I'm gonna put myself on the same screen and then I'll switch my screens over. Um, so let me switch that screen over here. So I'm gonna to go to um, student.naviance.com slash Bergen CHS. So I am a student and I'm going to continue with single sign-on. And if I did this right, oh, my account's inactive. So I, okay. So I'm going to, just so you can see what it looks like, I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use last year's because I know that one works. Uh, student account, um, Bergen CHS. Let's try that again. Um, a Spiegel. Nope. Continue with single sign on. And all right, I have to log out of PowerSchool. All right, the log out of um, my email. So let me go here and log out of my email. Uh, I'm going to sign out of everything that I'm in. And just for sake of ease, I'm going to log into my last year's Bergen email. A Spiegel. 26 at bergencatholichs.org. Okay. So now, and if it doesn't work, then um, I give up. But um, I, the the steps are right. I just want I want you to see what it act, how it actually, uh, how it actually goes. So student, single sign-on. Okay, so it remembers last year's. So now I'm into Naviance. So as a student, I don't have to worry about an account or a password or anything. I just, it authenticates me based on my email address. Okay, there's a lot in Naviance. There's absolutely no rush, and I'm actually gonna put myself on the screen so you can see me say it. There's absolutely no rush in accessing this. I just want you to be aware that it's something we use. It's something you're going to be um, very familiar with over the course of your four years. Um, your, your parent information, uh, I'm gonna walk through the parent steps, but I don't have the accounts created yet. Um, it's, it's a little different, but again, you'll, um, you will see, I'm gonna point out a registration code that it's, I'll either email to you or it'll be placed on, uh, on PowerSchool for you to find. All right, so let me just walk through that real quick. Um, and I told you about that already. Okay, so if you are a, you are a parent, um, you would go to the same website. It's student. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, student.naviance.com slash Bergen CHS, but you're going to click I'm new and need to register, okay, since you've never registered before as a parent. And then what you will do is you will enter the registration code that I will provide to you. You'll either get it from the PowerSchool portal or um, in an email from me. 
Okay, and you'll put that code in there. It's a couple of, it's like six or eight letters and um, letters and numbers. Okay, so you'll put that in and you'll click on register. That's going to authenticate you to your son's account. And once you do that, it's going to ask you for your email address, which you'll place your email address in, um, provide you a valid email address, and that's unique to your school. Uh, same, just like Paraschool. If you have an audience account, for a student at another school, you'd, you're creating a one just for use at Burton Catholic. You type in your email address, and then you're going to create a password. You'll put it in twice. These are the password restrictions set by Naviance, not by Burton Catholic. So this pa this password has to be 10 characters long, not include your username, not include more of uh, two of the same characters in a row, and no common passwords like the word password. Okay. Um, the link for students... Um, I'll put that back up on my slides. Um, this is what will happen once you're done um, with the parents. Um, you'll receive this screen that says your account's ready. You can continue uh, and then log in. Um, somebody just asked about the, uh, there's the website. It's student.naviance.com slash bergenchs. Okay. And again, do not worry. This is, I, I am just, um, uh, introducing this to you now, okay? So, no worries. Um, biggest thing is email and power school is what you'll need so far. Um, Naviance, when we'll, we'll review this again, you know, in September. Um, and certainly, as you start to meet with your guidance counselor, um, they will make sure you're, you're on and active with, uh, with Naviance, okay? Um, this is the Naviance home screen. Um, and as it, uh, you know, you'll have a a whole bunch of different areas that you can look at and, and figure out where to go. Um, but that will be, um, uh, that'll be up with you and your guidance counselor once, um, once that happens. All right. Um, that's it for Naviance. Um, so what I'm going to do with, that's all the content. I want to share a couple of things with you um, before I open for, for more questions. Um, number one, these are the remaining tech Tuesday dates and that, um, actually those dates are not, I think that's from the last, last year's slides. I'm sorry. Those dates are not right. Um, let me pull up the right dates real quick because I know that one's not because um, I know July 19th is definitely not right. Just give me one second. I apologize. Um, the next one is August, I want to say uh, 8th, is it? Nope. 15th? August 1st. Our next one is on August 1st. Um, and I'm actually going gonna, gonna to pull this slide and just put up the right one, put up the right dates. I, I probably didn't transfer this over from last year. So August 1st is the next one and that'll cover Blackboard. Um, I should be, we are in the process of changing our middleware from Blackboard. So I'm hoping that um, that is done by the next time we meet. And then we have one on the 22nd and one on the 29th of August. Um, the, I, I know there's been um, there's questions, there have been questions about submitting summer assignments. Do not worry, you've got plenty of time. I will, I'm in the process of creating that stuff on Blackboard uh, and we'll go over that in, in August. Um, but please do not worry, you've got plenty of time um, and um, you'll, you'll, you'll be fine with that. Um, so at this point, does anybody have any questions that you want to ask in terms of um, uh, Either Power School, um, Power School, Naviance, uh, Device Pickup, or since I'm the dean, any type of student life questions that I can answer as well. Um, and as I'm going through the chat, um, Naviance can you be used on any device. Um, username and password for Naviance is their email address. They're just logging in with their Bergen email address through single sign-on. Okay. Anybody have any questions? And I'm actually going to uh, unpin myself. So anybody have any questions about anything that they would like to ask away? Uh, you send the photos to helpdesk at burdencatholic.org. Um, I'll put that in the chat. Help desk at burdencatholic.org. 
And if you're if your Navion says um, inactive, that just means I didn't for some reason yours didn't get it activated. I will go back and make sure that those are. Anybody with any questions? Sure, device pickup. Let me throw that back. Let me find my remote and let's go back to device pickup and I'll put that up. Device pickup. That means I also have to pin myself again. So device pickup is Monday through Thursdays starting July 31st. The school's closed on Fridays. So Monday to Thursday, 9 to 1. And then those three Wednesdays, August 2nd, 9th, and 16th from 4 to 8. And students must be present uh, when you pick up your devices. And your devices must be prepaid. Right? Um, if for some reason there is an issue with payment, you need to let myself or Mrs. C's know ahead of time in admissions. And we'll, we'll try and work something out. But there's, you know, you can pay for it on TADS. So it, it's billed with your July tuition. All right. So... That much easier. If that's done ahead of time, it makes it um, a lot easier. We pick you, and you will pick those up at the school. Um, yes, and I am going to send the slide deck via email um, tomorrow, uh, as well as uh, the recording um, for tonight. Actually, don't hold me till tomorrow. It might be Thursday. Um, I know last time it was it was quick. If I, I mean, I might even do it tonight. We'll see because I just have to process the video. Um, and that generally doesn't take too, too long. So um, you can look forward to the next 48 hours. Um, thank you, Eamon, for answering that question. Uh, anybody else, any questions they want to chat or throw in and ask me? I have a question again, yes. sorry. That's all right. So <laughs> I'm not a very techie person. Yep. So at a high level, I know they get the MacBook and the iPad. Mm -hmm. High level, can you explain like pretty much what they use for when like you know since they'll have both devices sure. the the macbook is a content creator so they'll use that a lot for um assignments um they'll use it for uh if they're creating like slide decks if they're creating um uh any type of uh multimedia um that um that kind of stuff um the iPad is a content reader. They'll use a lot. They'll use that for two things primarily for their e-textbooks. All their textbooks are online, um, and they will use that for um, ExamSoft, which is our computer-based testing program. So they'll take um, tests on uh, ExamSoft on the iPad. Um, so they've got they've got those two uses for the iPads. Um, and really, if something happens to one, except for ExamSoft, really they could do everything on both devices. Okay? So one can serve as a backup. Um, and the battery is going to last the whole day, uh, unless they're watching movies or playing games. The battery for doing schoolwork <laughs> will last the whole day. So, um, right. That's what we. And do. so, mm -hmm. are they required to bring both both daily? Yes, bring them both okay. daily and charged, um, ready to go. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Um, sometimes what I understood because I learned the content here. biology pack and not any degree pack. So I'm having trouble with the mission. Which day? Um, those of you that are sending me, um, some folks sent me some private messages. Um, the one, the email for Naviance is your student's email, the, the Bergen email address. That's how the kids get on. And then I will send you, um, your access codes for, um, parent Naviance. Um, um, two people, I'm, I just want to respond, um, Two folks had sent me something privately. I just want to respond to them. Um, um, okay, and let me email the other one. Um, Okay, any other questions that, I'm not sure I didn't miss anything. iPad, the iPad is the, um, it's a 10.9 inch ninth generation iPad. Um, and that would have, by now, you should have, you should have made that the, the purchase decision based on a form we sent out back in April. Uh, and that's what we've ordered based on. So if you're asking me what iPad the kids need, we are under the assumption you're bringing your own. Um, so it's at least a ninth generation iPad. Um, they could probably go as low as 
anything within the last two years is fine. But if we if we run older than that, we run into some issues. Um, uh, yes, you will pick up the devices at school, the IT office. You'll be directed. Um, uh, you'll be directed when you come in. If you come in during normal hours, you'll uh, Mrs. Patera in the main office will direct you. Um, if you come in from four to eight, you'll definitely come in through the semicircle, and then we'll um, uh, somebody from my team will be there to direct you uh, around the corner. Um, okay, um, I answered that one. Um, you're welcome. Um, um, I understood what you meant. Where's that one I need to respond to? Um, Anybody else with any questions or any anything? Oh, my dog's name is Duke. Um, he is a, what are you, three and a half? He's three and a half year old rescue. Um, and he is recovering from, uh, he tore his ACL, believe it or not. He tore it, like, I can't tell you when, but he had surgery not even, I think four weeks ago today he had surgery. So he is definitely on the, uh, on the men's. Um, and he understands that as soon as daddy goes on Zoom, um, it's time for him to get a bone and peanut butter. So, yeah, poor Duke. But um, he is, you know, somebody's got to keep me, uh, um, you know, in check. So uh, if you bring your own iPad, do we have to bring it to be configured? Yes, you do. Um, you want to you want to make sure you save anything that's of importance because we're going to wipe that and configure it. So if you are bringing your own iPad and you got to do that, you know, sooner rather than later. Right. Um, we're there. Um, pretty much all the time someone's in that office, but reach out to Mrs. Robolino and make that appointment. Um, okay. Um, did I miss anything? One last question. Yep, go ahead. And it's just points of clarification. Sure. So the priority is setting up the student's Gmail, setting up PowerSchool, yep. and getting the photo for the ID. That's as of right now, yes. Very, that excellent summary. Uh, excellent summary. Um, those three, and then what will be next um, hopefully by the, the next Tech Tuesday will be um, um, Blackboard. Uh, and as I said, we, we're the, through, no, through no control of my own, the middleware that takes the data from PowerSchool and sends it to Blackboard is changing. So we're trying to work through that um, and hopefully have that um, resolved uh, by August. Um, but um, even if it's not, I'm still going to show you how to submit your assignments. Um, so then when you actually get the access, you'll be able to do it. All right, so that's next on the list. And then um, Apple IDs will do in, in August as well as a cumulative review. And I also think um, I'm going to do a separate, um, I think I called it Expectations Wednesday, um, where I'm not going to talk any technology. I'm going to talk as the dean, and we'll talk about behavior uh, expectations and dress and, and all that kind of stuff. So we'll spend some time doing that right before the school year starts, because um, I think that's important too. So I, I, depending on the day and the moment, I'm, I'm two different people. Um, and I have a lot of responsibilities, but uh, I am looking forward to working with your sons, both, both from you know, the technology standpoint, uh, but also getting to know them as the dean. Uh, and some of them I've seen uh, already uh, in the building for uh, the lead on program uh, and for summer enrichment. So uh, I met them yesterday, some of them, which I was really happy to do. Um, and certainly um, if I can uh, do anything for you, please reach out to me. Um, I will have, as I had said, just someone threw it in the chat, I will have the video. Um, if I'm ambitious, it'll be done tonight. If not, by the latest Thursday, uh, you'll have it, uh, the video and the, uh, the slides from uh, tonight. I will email them to you uh, with the summary and writing of kind of what we talked about. So uh, we'll get that out sooner rather than later. And it'll also be up on the YouTube, on the BCTV YouTube page. Okay. Anybody else? All right. Well, uh, with that, I will I will bid you good night. Uh, enjoy the rest of your uh, July, and I will see you in the beginning of August. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Good night.